Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by Color Creatively. I'm Sandy. I'm a little frustrated now. I filmed part two and I wound up hitting the wrong button on my camcorder and it came out black and white. So I didn't even publish it. So what I'll do is just explain to you what I did in part two. And I will call this part two. Um, but we're going to move on. Uh, in this. I went and took the um, Touch New uh, Turquoise Blue and it's uh, 68 and the Touch New Vivid Red number 4 and I did uh, the veil and the skirt, the trim with gold and silver. I did the white uniball pen here uh, for the floral work and so that and that and the veil so that's where we got and I did gold on her shoes so I'm using the uh, jelly rolls for the gold and silver we're using jelly rolls okay I I'm just frustrated I think when everything's going smooth and I got all the technology down pat bang something new happens of course now I've learned about this camera and what to be careful of when I start filming and turning it on. Okay, um, I thought today that I would take and do some of these crystals down here. Well, let's do the bench that she's sitting on first. And um, I'm going to use this sort of a neutral flush color uh, here. Um, it's a gel pen. And let me make sure it's writing. Okay, I don't know. Sometimes gel pens do really good and sometimes they don't. Okay, what I want to do is go over this bench with this flesh color and then I'm going to use some eyeshadow over the top of this to um, give it a, just a, a neutral look. I'm, I don't know. You'll see when we're done. I, I sort of like the combo. Um, it's just a nude, I call it a flesh color, a nude color. Okay, and I'm going to color this in. We're going to have a few more parts on this, and now that I've made that mistake and learned, I won't be doing that again. Um, thank you guys for being so understanding and so encouraging. Your comments that you've left me have been wonderful. And I want, I've tried to answer each one. And I want to thank you for all the new subscribers. I'm just blown away. I thought I was going to get out here and um, nobody would want to watch my channel. And you've just been such an encouragement. This is a wonderful coloring community here at uh, YouTube. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to color this same color in over this gray scale. Well, that sort of obscures that, doesn't it? Okay, there's what we'll do. We'll put on the gel pen and we'll wipe it off. That gives it just a hint of that flesh color that I wanted. And I'll do it here underneath where she sits. I just don't want to get it on her dress at all. Okay, we gave her the third eye. Uh, this is an Indian girl and that was drawn in by the artist. I haven't done her hair yet, so uh, I'm just sort of skipping around here a little bit. Um, I've got to calm down after being so frustrated with um, what I was doing there. I will um, Let's see if I'm going to make that, I think I'll make that gold right in here with my jelly roll. I'm going to have to go over some of this on her veil because the jelly roll just didn't write real well. And uh, just give it another coat. Now it's working splendidly here. And... I think I'm going to go with the silver 
on this other decoration or part of the seat here. I want to let that dry for a minute, the um, gel pen and the uniball pens, because I want to go back with some brown eyeshadow. And if you don't have eyeshadow, um, use whatever you have, pastels, pencils, or you can go to a dollar store and you can get so many different things there absolutely for a buck. Um, that's what I'm using, basically. Um, most of my eyeshadows and things that I use in backgrounds are from the dollar store. Okay, we're going to let that dry. And then I want to go work on these crystals a little bit. Um, we did her eyes. I did them. I uh, used my... Um, Amazon Basics, I used light blue 535 and blue 533 on her eyes. Her lips I did with a gel pen. So, um, moving right along, I do have to fix this part of her veil. I'll have to think about how to do that. That'll be on another video. But let's work on some of these crystals here. And we've got our lantern and, and um, the moon back there and this. There's still a lot to do on this drawing, so we'll have some more parts to this for sure. Okay, um, sorry, I have to apologize for goofing up my first film on this part too. Uh, I didn't want to print out another picture and have to sit here and color up to the point we were in order to film the keep filming so I want to get this out to you guys so you can take a look and and uh, if you notice here this marker the touch new it just became a velvety look with the grayscale showing through I just love it I am going to do some of these in pink this is eyeshadow this is eyeshadow from the dollar store that's all it is um, and I will set this like you do a pastel. I'm going to use my hairspray. I want to blow some of that off. I don't need them to be very vivid. Use a Q-tip there and or a cotton bud and see how that works. That works a little bit better. Yeah, I like that. That rubs it in pretty good. Okay, I'm going to use the blue here too, and I want to make this big one blue for sure. I'm going to make this one blue. The one in the back is going to be blue. And this one's going to be blue. I want to make this blue here. And I want to go back to the pink up here, next to her her red skirt, wine-colored skirt. Okay, and we're going to go over that again with some... Okay, let's go over here to this side. Um, oh, oh, I got the wrong... I want to do this blue... Oh, pink, I'm sorry. Pink. I got the wrong end of my Q-tip. I'm going to do this one pink. If you have pastels or even pencils, any anything you have, you can do it and color along with us. You don't have to run out and buy anything. Okay, I got most of those pink. 
And we want to do one blue one here. So it just gives it a soft look. I'm going to be using some eyeshadows on another picture. I did a flip through of a book, Villas by the Char Charming Villas by the Sea. And I will be doing some makeup on that one because that's what the actual artist suggested in the directions in the beginning of the book. And I thought, how cool. So uh, we are going to do that. Well, i got a lot of things planned coming up. It just takes time. And I appreciate all of your patience. Okay, we got the color going on the video. Thank you. And um, I want to take a little hairspray now. Like I said, I'm using wig spray. I just happen to have it. And But hairspray, anything cheap, you can get it at the dollar store. It will work. And it just has lacquer in it that fixes. I'm going to spray it off camera. Okay, now I want that to dry for just a minute. Now those eyeshadows are will be set and they won't smudge off just like pastels. Okay, uh, let's let that dry before I go ahead and I wanted to go on it with a uniball pen here. <clears throat> I'm going to not do all of them, but um, well that doesn't want to write. I better clean off the tip. <clears throat> Clean off the tip. A little bit of a sparkle there. And maybe here. Okay, <clears throat> and let's do one up here. Well, that one doesn't look like a sparkle too much. Okay, it's fine. <clears throat> I'm going to go over on this side now, and I just want to keep it simple. I'm going to do one here. And maybe one here. And that's about it. Um, we'll just have our crystals looking like that. Okay, I would like to take my um, brown eyeshadow now. I bought this for myself and every time I wore it I just hated it. Whoops, I never can open it either. Sorry, I've got arthritis in my hands, and things are just so difficult for me sometimes. Okay, these are just colors I bought I thought I would like, but I don't know. They just don't quite look that good on me. So I'm using them in my pictures. Okay, I'm going to go over it with sort of this number two color here. Not sure what that color is. And I just want to add that to the bench a little bit. Smooth it out. I don't want to obscure this nude color that I put on. But I want to make it a little bit browner. Pinkish brown. And I'm going to rub it in like that. Okay. We're just going <clears> to... <throat> do it that way. Okay. I think that, um, where's my gold pen? Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, this needs to be gone over again, but uh, off camera I'm going to go over these gold parts again. And I'm going to leave that gray in the background that uh, grayscale that's showing through. We'll do the lantern in that at a later time. But let me go ahead and I'm going to do gold and silver around this 
circle that's behind her window, I guess, ornate window. Um, these are opaque, so they do hinder the grayscale, but there's not a lot of grayscale on this, this border. So I feel I can use the gold. I love gold and silver and metallic and glitter. I didn't put any glitter on my other picture of Betsy Lynn from Micah Jelena, but uh, I've done a couple things. I added another heart that I couldn't find when I was doing the video. I put little hearts at the base of her skirt to decorate it a little better and tie it in with the other parts of the picture. And when I have my completed pictures at the end of January, I will be showing you what I added and how I changed it. Sometimes I'll do a picture and then I look at it days later and I think, hmm, boy, that sure isn't writing good there. Let me clean it off. I add something. I, I sit back and look at it and then I'll add something or... I, I don't know if any of you do that. It would be interesting to find out. Okay, I'm going to do this side gold here. I just, I like <clears throat> coloring books that have bold black lines. I know some people don't, but I do. I really like that. I'm just amazed at all the artists that make such beautiful pictures for us in the coloring community. And sometimes I don't, I just look at a book and admire it and think, Wow, I don't need to color it. It looks so beautiful just in black and white. You know, just some really, really talented artist. Um, first time I got a Kirby Rosanna's book, I was like so intimidated with his doodles and what was I going to do with them. And anyway, when I actually just said, you know what, you're going to do this. If you screw the book up, you'll buy another book. Or you won't buy one at all and you'll forget doodles. But I got into it and loved it. Same with uh, mandalas. I've got a real simple book, but I just didn't think I would like it. Um, I was like stumped. What am I going to make? The What colors am I going to make it? I don't know. Maybe on a picture like this you can... At least I could visualize more, you know, what, at least a starting point. Like, we'll start with red on the dress and turquoise. And then from there, it just sort of builds naturally. But uh, I'm getting into mandalas. I'm working on some for stress relief every night and before I go to bed. And I am just amazed at how well I've been sleeping It's like I'm tired, I'm dead to the world, but I'm in a deep sleep, and I've been really resting, so um, I'm going to keep doing it. Whoops, be careful there. That will obscure my line. I'm trying to get it right in between precisely. Whatever comments you have, please leave them below. I really enjoy reading them and seeing what you have to say. Any suggestions I'm open to, uh, any ideas you may have, you may do something far better than I do, and I'd like to learn it from you. So I'm just real excited. I never thought I'd ever have a YouTube channel, but it's, it's exciting to see. And um, when I get my first hundred subscribers, I'm going to have a giveaway. Um, I've got some really nice things to give away, and I want to do that and thank people for subscribing. So it won't be long. Um, I think right now I'm up to 65 subscribers, and I've just been here a very short time on YouTube. 
And I want to thank each and every one who subscribed and, and uh, just have patience with me. We'll get there. We're going to do some things, I'm hoping, different. And we can learn from each other. Oh, wow, I saw the bench there on the side and didn't realize that that is um, part of the bench she's sitting on. So I want to color that in, let that dry a minute. I want to wipe that off. I'm going to let that dry a minute before I put any brown on it. Okay, um, I thought for this grill work here that I would do it with this gold gel pen and fill these in. I, I just don't want to obscure the lines but I want it to be metallic. It's been real cold here. It's been in the 20s. Yesterday I went out to Walmart at 8 o'clock, or no, 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, and it was 26 degrees, and I forgot my gloves, and the wind was blowing. I thought from my car to the entrance of the store I was going to die. So um, we haven't had weather this cold in quite a few years. We usually get a little snow. We haven't had that in about three years either. And I live in a desert, so in the summer it can get to be 110 easy here. We've had more of those days that we normally don't have. So the weather patterns are changing a lot. And I'm just happy that I'm in the house where it's nice and warm today. Okay. I'm going to have to apologize again. I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I'm just so sorry that I filmed the whole, uh, the beginning of part two without color. So I've learned, I've learned this camera, I have to watch it. When I turn it on, make sure I'm not in that mode. That was the wrong mode to be in. It might, I think it's something for night vision. Uh, and we aren't in night vision. My husband's home right now, so our little chihuahua that we rescued is in the other room with him so she won't be barking at the door and trying to get in with me. She, she was abandoned before so she's just paranoid if she's left alone somewhere and she knows you're somewhere else. I don't know, she had a bad experience and she's getting better. She was worse when we got her but now she's getting better. Uh, we can both go somewhere together, and she does get nervous, but she doesn't act up or anything. She patiently looks out the window and waits for us to come home. I think I'll touch these up uh, later off camera. Okay, and where I went there with a little silver, I'll take a black pencil. In fact, I'll do that right now. There, it's almost gone. There, that makes it look better. I'll have to go over the metallic. I just think one coat probably isn't enough. Okay, I don't want to bore you by doing the other side of this. I'm going to uh, move on to something else. I want to do this lantern here, and I want to do it in gel pen too. I'm going to make just parts of it silver, 
thin parts of the gold where the metal is. Okay. I'm going to go here with the gold. You know, that gold just seems sort of wet or runny or something. I don't know. And then other gel pens don't, don't look that way to me. So I might try another one of my gold pens and see how they come out. little feet on this underneath there. Okay. Yeah, see that needs to be gone over again too. So I will touch it up when I'm off camera. And so when I come back we will finish the background, the lantern, and I'll take a look and see if there's anything else we need to finish in this picture. And I want to say thank you for stopping by. Thank you for following me. I'm going to call this part two, and then the next film will be part three. Uh, and I just want to say, until we meet again, happy coloring.